uh, what we're going to do right now is get the robot so we can actually drive it. Uh, we kind of skipped that part before, and uh, now we'll add the drivetrain. So to do that, the, our robot, um, our drivetrain actually has um, a ultrasonic rangefinder on it. Um, it's one of its sensors. So let's add that. It's a sensor, and it's a it's a it's one of those Max Botics ultrasonic rangefinders that uh, has an analog output. So we want to have an analog channel for that. Uh, we'll call it ultrasonic. Uh, that's on analog channel three, and then. Um, and then we all, the other thing, the next thing we kind of need to drive this is uh, uh, a joystick, because you really can't drive without a joystick. So if we go to the operator interface tab, we can add a joystick, and uh, let's call it joystick. Uh, and, and so that's pretty good. That's joystick one. And uh, the next thing we do is we, we what do we want to do? Oh, we want to add some commands for driving. So what are the commands we want to use? So we want to have a command to drive to the box, to drive to the elevated platform. Okay, so drive to platform. We want to back away from the platform, and we want to have a K drive so that the operators, don't, don't, yeah, that, so the operators can do it. So back. Oh. They use the drive train. So we've got back up and go forward. Now the last thing, like Alex said, that we want to have is uh, some arcade drive command that will let it drive in arcade mode. What is arcade mode? Oh, arcade mode is, you know, tank drive is where you have two joysticks and the left joystick does the left side of the robot and the right joystick controls the right side of the robot. And arcade drive is a single joystick that you just drive around and forwards and backwards is, is, is forwards and backwards and left and right is left and right and in between uh, those turns. All right, so now I'm just going to set the default command to be arcade drive, so of the drivetrain. So what that means is that when there's no other command running on the drivetrain, it'll be an arcade drive. So if it's not backing up or driving to the platform on its own, it'll be under a K-Drive with the joystick that we have. So this is another really important use of those requires settings for commands because we're saying we're saying that um, that all these commands that use the drivetrain require the uh, the drivetrain subsystem and so one of, when one of them is running it will stop the other one from running. In this case the default command will run when there are none running for it. Alright, so I think we have everything we need to get it driving in here, so let's export and write some code. Okay. So we've exported. Go back to NetBeans. And there's our, um, our new commands ought to be there and the subsystem is there. So let's go take a look at the drivetrain subsystem, uh, which now should include the ultrasonic rangefinder. And, um, and let's... Oh, so let's just go fix this so we can load some code. Okay. Because we need to find... So... Since we just added joysticks, we just need to make sure that it includes them. Oh, so we'll add the imports for the for the joysticks. Okay, um, and then we can... Um, we're going to load it so that we can find the set points for how far away we want to be from the box to place on it. And while we're doing that, we can start writing some code. So the uh, two things we want to do with the drivetrain, we want to do a K-drive, which takes a joystick, And then we tell our robot drive object, which is part of the drivetrain, to use the joystick to do our K drive. So that's pretty straightforward. Oh. Okay, and then what else do we want to do? We want to just have it do a, um, a drive straight. And what this should do is we give it a speed to drive. Um, it will drive straight at that speed. And um, and we can do that just by calling the um, the, the robot drive uh, tank drive method. Just give it a couple of speeds. So that means that the the uh, left and the right side will both drive at negative speed. Now, why is it negative speed? Well, it really just depends on which way the motors are mounted and which way they're connected uh, and how it's geared. In our case, negative values make it drive forward. All right. So now that we have these two things. The uh, code's done loading, so let's get our set point for a far away and closer to the box. Okay, so we need to for that we need to go to the, um, uh, the smart dashboard and then put it into test mode. Okay, and if we look at the drivetrain, oh, we have to just move something out of the way here. So we're just going to editable mode, and now let you rearrange this. We'll just drag it down a little bit, and then we can leave editable. Okay, and look, there's the ultrasonic sensor, and there's a value of 0.203 volts. That represents the distance to the box right now. 
So when we place this, the box wants to be about uh, this far away. Okay, so that is um, about 0.15. Are you sure? Maybe closer? Uh, here, let me lower the wrist. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That puts it kind of in the middle of the box. Okay, so yeah, so point one, so point one five, and then do you want to back it away a little bit? Okay, and then we'll and then we'll pretend the robot's backing away. I want to back away that much. Okay, we'll pretend the robot is backing away. Sure, point two. I like that. Okay. So now we have those set points, so we can go like some code using it. So back to NetBeans. So. so the first thing we want to do is we want to drive to the platform. So just like any other command. Oh, actually, I lied. So there's one more method we want to write. We just want to be able to get the oh, right. from the ultrasonic. So we want to get the uh, distance from the platform. Right, because don't forget that the ultrasonic range finder is a sensor that's part of the uh, drivetrain. So we have to ask the drivetrain uh, what the distance is to the platform that the ultrasonic range finder is returning. So that returns a double value. So we just grab that from the ultrasonic um, and we get the average voltage here because this is a, um, an analog input. Okay, so now we can drive to the platform. So we just want to do robot dot drive train dot drive point five. So this is going to drive half speed forwards. So it starts in the initialized method, it starts with driving half speed forward. And we're going to keep going until we've hit that uh, distance. Okay, and this is, so we're driving to the platform, so that's the closer distance okay. of uh, 0.15. So we're going to get the distance to the platform, and we're going to, we're, we'll, we're finished when we're less than that minimum distance. So we're saying that when we're less than 0.15 uh, uh, volts away, then that's, um, that's when we're there. And then we tell the thing to stop driving, which is to, tell the robot to stop driving, which is to drive straight zero, and uh, when, when the end method is called. So that's pretty much it for driving to the platform. And then we got to drive um, back up. Back up. Okay, we want to back up a little bit away from the platform. So that's kind of the same thing. Uh, this time, um, we want to get the robot moving in the backwards direction. So we'll drive uh, at negative uh, half speed. And then this thing is finished when the distance is greater than our further away distance, which oh, is wait. 0.2. So robot dot drive train. drive train that gets the drive train subsystem dot get distance, and uh, it, we're finished when we're greater than 0.2. And then uh, when we end, when it, when is finished is true, the end method gets called. We set the speed to zero, and if we're interrupted, we set the speed to zero by calling the end method. Because that kind of takes care of that. And now the last thing we wanted to do was the command to be able to do arcade drive. And this is a little bit more complicated. What do you have to do for arcade drive? So for arcade drive, you have to get the joystick from the OI and pass it to the drivetrain to update the speeds. So you do robot dot drivetrain dot arcade drive, and then you do robot dot OI, which is the operator interface, and you get the joystick. So that gets us the joystick, sends it to the arcade drive method on the robot drive object inside of the drivetrain, and, and then it just uses the joystick to drive. And then the end method, um, uh, oh, so notice it says is finished is false. Um, that's because this thing is never going to be finished. What's going to happen is it's just going to keep running until it's interrupted because this is our default command for the drivetrain. So we're not doing anything else. We're going to be using the joysticks to drive. And uh, so the end method will actually never get called because it's never going to be finished. Um, the interrupted method may be called if, we're, if we write some other stuff later or we have some other stuff that will interrupt this. So that will stop the robot from driving. The next thing we want to do is we just want to add it into the deliver cylinder. So, so we had that deliver cylinder. Oh, it's a, 
Oh. So, so we had some comments there before where we were going to drive to the platform and, uh, and drive away from it. So now we're just going to fill those in with our new commands that we just wrote. So drive to platform, and the other one is to uh, back up. So we'll load the robot program uh, into the robot. We have these uh, commands now all set, and now we should be able to test all these things together because now we have uh, the robot driving, it's using the ultrasonic range finder. We can make sure that everything works um, all at the same time. So the program is now loading into the robot. Now again, this is like a really, really, really good way of testing it. I mean, we still don't have this stuff wired up to the operator interface. We haven't really defined what our autonomous command is, but um, it's all testable one command at a time. And it will be pretty easy in just a minute to uh, wire up all this stuff so that we can connect it to our uh, joysticks and, um, and to the autonomous mode. So we're ready to go. We'll enable the robot and... Okay, so let's start by driving to the platform. Okay. Can we do that? Is that to the platform? Yeah, that's to the platform. Okay. Um, so then let's back, up, let's back up. Okay. And let's so the, now let's try a okay, cable drive. Okay, so it has arcade drive. Oh, a little too violent. It has too much arcade drive. Um, so now we're going to try the full deliver cylinder command. Ready? Right. And that's the whole thing. 